Hello there everyone, this is Funny Mills back again with another review, now today we're reviewing a really, this is a custom set by the way, we're reviewing Republic Bricks Shadow Shock Arc 170. Now I bought this off a of seller of my car, so no I did not pay $200, I never would to be honest, for at least this version, maybe the V2 I would, but okay. So this is a Shadow Shock, this is supposed to be a black and red colored ARC-170. Now, this is, this was designed by Dave's Customs. This does look really similar, it does take a lot of similar design from the 2010 ARC-170, so that's one thing to make sure. Yeah, let's get it right into it. Here's a look into the engines. I'm not really a big fan of those like little weird build because you can see you can see how easy it is to get them this line and out of like out of order and it makes them look really bad. Here's what they're attached to, like these holders. And you kind of have to like fix them. So I'm not really a big fan of the engine design, but they had to make work what they could. So ultimately, who can blame them? Here's like the little cannon build. If you can see it. Here's like the cockpit area. Here's like the interior of it. Nothing too special. Does have a little holder for maybe a blaster pistol or two. Don't know. Here's the co-pilot. Here's the astromech socket. And here's the gunner. The yeah, the gunner. And then here's a little turret. It's pretty much the same design as the 2010 Arc 170 with this like turret design. Another more of the engines, of course. Now here's the sides, or here's like how they did it. They they put like three, they use like six on, pretty much six in total, but both two on two sides. It does have a different build compared to the 2010 mooks, I think. It does use some different pieces. Obviously black with red. But it doesn't look the same as I will put a picture up on the screen and like do the fin. So they did use some different building techniques. There are two I get this to focus. There's two of these like together they're both different. Here on the under bottom. Oh, if I could get it to focus, you can here would be like the little missile launcher, the flick fire missiles that, that were in the 2010 one but are not he present here so they just use this it's just kind of put it in there i will put a picture on the screen and so yeah the build is i think this is pretty much the same one as the other one here's the back the engines obviously very similar to the 2010 one you have the gunner you have the same little exact mechanism they used on the 2010 arc 170 Yes, it does use rubber bands, so I'm not a big fan of the, the rubber bands either. And then you open it like this, if I could get it to stay open. Alright, there we go. You can see it, does, it is kind of weird with the how the, it opens, because you can, like, I don't know if you can look at it, but you can see that's held, held by Technic. But it's different, like the Technic, and so then it's like in between here and here it's done this is how it looks as a result of that it is pretty weird because i mean at first i remember like opening it like fully and then like it next thing you know it falls back into its landed position of course this does not have any stickers even though you could put a Republic insignia on here, but I don't think that would fit too well. But if you do want to, in theory, you could put there. So here's the, the cannon. Now I will have to replace this piece. It seems like this piece was in gray and not black, which is really weird. But yeah, let's put some let's put some pilots in here. See how it looks. So already we put some figs in there already. So here's how it looks when it has figs in there. I know this is not ideal. I only have one clone pilot and this does not fit the set. So I ended up just using Pablo first clones because I don't have any pilots. So here's how it already if I could get under the floor. 
Alrighty, so this is how it'll look. So when you have pilots and an astromech, I'm just doing a random R5 just because I that was the nearest one I had. I did it. Astromech's near me. Astromech droids, but I feel like it would be an R4 unit ultimate. So here's how it looks. Now the interesting thing is you you can put the pilots in your straight, like just straight sitting, like you don't even have to put them leaning backwards. I think on the 2010 model, you they do lean backwards because they don't really have too much like interior, like on the to put the pilots. So you could, in theory, just put them straight, sit near straight or sit straight. This one sits near straight. This one sits near straight, but not necessarily there. These two pretty much sit straight, so that's one good thing I think about this set. Ultimately, I mean, to be honest, you can already like you can see with the issues with the engines that I'm not I'm not really a big fan of the engines. Like, it, it's annoying. That's all I have to say. So, all right, final verdict for this set I'll say is a six point five, good colorway, good concept, but the execution with like the engines and all that are really terrible. I feel like we could have. Uh, could have seen new engines or different design instead of like using like all these like pieces because that ultimately just increases piece count at the end of the day so yeah i mean i will be reviewing the v2 because the v2 is way better than the v1 <laughs> it's pretty much its own design and i will show it when i review that next and yeah i mean this is not worth $200 necessarily, so I would say do not buy this for $200. you are able to find a decent or good deal online from someone else selling this set. I'll say go for it, but if you're paying $200, i am just going to say one thing. You're getting ripped off. And it's been your boy, Funny Mode, and peace out.